Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer files from Android phone to PC using Wi-Fi. So let's start. First of all, this method will work with any Android phone and any computer. So your computer can work on Windows, it can be MacBook, iMac or you can have Linux operating system, it will work on any computer that has Wi-Fi. And first of all, on our phone we need to go to Google Play and then find application called ShareMe. ShareMe, the old name is MeDrop, is an application that will allow us to transfer files from our phone to our computer. So, once you go to Google Play Store, you need to install it and then open the application. Once we open it, we will see something like this. And here we can just scroll down to close this part. And the application will look like this. So, the next thing we need to do is to click in the left top corner over here on those three lines. And then choose the first option that says connect to computer. After we do this, it will check our Wi-Fi status over here. We will see the name of the Wi-Fi network as well or we can simply click there and connect to a different network. After we are connected to Wi-Fi, we can click down here on Start. And right now it will ask us for the first setting. We can either choose Portable Connection, which will not set any password, and it will not be as secure as if we would set the password. Or we can choose Password Protected, which means we will have to set up our login and password in order to connect our phone to our computer. So in this example, I'm going to choose password protected. I'm going to click over here and then click OK. And right now it will ask us to enter our login at the top and password at the bottom. Password should be from 4 to 16 characters long. Uh, I set password as 123456 in this example, and login as Skylark. So once we set it up, we click OK, and then we've got another option to set up, which is to which storage on our phone do we want to connect? Would it be our SD card or our internal storage? So it depends if the files that we want to copy from the phone to the computer are on our internal storage or in on our SD card. In this example I'm going to choose SD card and right now our phone is ready to send the files to our computer. So let's move to our computer right now. On our computer we need to open file manager. So right now our phone is already prepared to send the files to our computer. As you can see over here, we've got instructions which say uh, connect your phone and computer to the same network. It should also work if the computer is connected to the same network using cable and your phone is just using Wi-Fi, it should work fine as well. And then the second is uh, enter this address into your computer's file manager. So if you're using a MacBook, you would have to open Finder and then enter this address. If you are using Windows, you need to open File Explorer. In order to do that, you can just press Windows key and E on the keyboard of the computer. And as you can see, the Explorer is already opened. And right now, we just need to type the address up here in this bar over here. So let's type FTP 192.168.1.12121. Of course, this address can be different. Just look on your phone and type the address that you see on your phone. Because this address depends on the address that our phone will set up for us. So in my case, since it's this address. In your case, it could be a little bit different. Once we type in the address, we press enter. Once we press enter, it will ask us to log in with the username and password that we set up in the previous steps. So I'm going to type 123456 as the password. 
my username is Skylark, I can click log in. And as soon as we do this, we have another pop-up windows that will open over here. So that we can close the empty one. And the other one will open with the main folder, the main directory of our phone. So what we see right now is the phone, our Android phone. As you can see, I have some folders over here, for example, DCIM, where we can find the pictures. So now, if we want to transfer files from our phone to our computer, all we need to do is open another file explorer windows and right now we just have to find files on our phone that we want to copy i'm going to go to dcim photoshop express and just copy a few pictures let's say three pictures in order to copy them i just need to press ctrl c or right click and choose copy after we copy the files from our phone we can move to our computers explorer we can go to the folder where we want to paste them so let's say i'm gonna go to pictures i'm gonna create new folder let's call it aaa i'm gonna open the folder now i can paste the copied pictures over here so i can press ctrl v or right click and choose paste and right now in this way, we just copied files from our phone to our computer. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. I'll try to answer all of them. And I hope this video was helpful. Remember to click thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.